Have you ever been lost in the woods? I remember as a child, my father, a Marine Corps veteran, took me into the Adirondack mountain range in upstate New York. He wanted to teach me how to find my way through the wilderness with nothing but a compass and a map. Now that basic skill of navigating when the roads are ill-defined or non-existent, it starts with one crucial step, figuring out where you are now. It's the same when it comes to spend management. No matter how out of hand your spend feels now, there's a way forward, but it starts with figuring out your current state. This is especially true with spending on cloud applications. Cloud apps are so common and ubiquitous that we constantly underestimate how many that we have, much less what they actually cost. And a lot of that is due to decentralization. Thanks to decentralization, employees and whole departments can trial, purchase, and integrate apps like never before, often without IT ever hearing about it. And for that reason, it's even more difficult to know which apps are actually worth their cost. We know they're valuable collectively, but whether each individual app is worth its particular price tag, that's complex. You need a lot of information, like the total number of apps, license count, utilization data, value generated, user satisfaction, and all of these are important, but starting with these details is a trap. We can't see the forest for the trees. Before we go granular, we need to start with some basic orientation. So where are you currently with relation to spend management? What is your spend philosophy? Now you might be thinking, hey Bertrand Russell, this is about numbers and calculations, not philosophy. But I would say, first, not my name, and second, your spend philosophy, whether you know it or not, directly changes your calculation methodology. So I'll ask again, what is your spend philosophy? Now, we simplified them into four main buckets. The economical east, the secure south, the wild west, and the true north. And in the next videos in this series, we'll look at each one. We'll consider how companies find themselves in these regions. We'll talk about the positives, and we'll also look at the negatives. Importantly, these four locations are not phases of growth. They are not stages in a maturity model, and they are not necessary steps in a progression. They simply represent different tendencies for companies. So through these videos, maybe you'll find some familiar territory and better understand the way forward. If you'd rather read than watch, good for you. We've also got plenty of resources and an ebook on this topic. Just check out toryhq.com journey to learn more and find your way to better SaaS spend management. Safe travels.